Hello everyone, and um, uh, I'm back with another video. This is about Bungie Cord, which like basically links two servers, so you can like join two servers at once. So yeah, you should already have Java Seven. Let me see Java Seven. If you don't have it, make sure to get it from this website. But well, you should have it since you already downloaded the service, but I'll just provide the link anyway. <coughs> and so what you need is bungee cord and either a bucket or a spigot server. You can have both. You can have it connects with both. It's the cool part about it. And uh, yeah. Mostly spigot. So you want to download the latest version. I already have the latest version over here. So yeah, I think I am good. So what you want to do, is you want to go to either one of these, I'll choose Bigot. So yeah, I'll just copy this code. Copy, close this, then I just have to do text document, call this like run, code in, and what you want to do is you want to change this to bungee cord, right, yeah, bungee cord. I'm gonna change this so it uses the list of my RAM or memory. I'm just gonna save as a run dot bat changes to all files and save. Now I can close this, delete this, and we can run this. Now what you want to do instead of stop, or right, right, end, and it doesn't say done, but you'll probably know it's done once it says listening on. So just write end, press enter, now you're done. So what you want to do is you want to go to your config over here, and let's see, what should I do? I'll do spigot right now, and I'll go to my server properties over here in my config and yeah so you want to leave this, leave this player limit you can change that if you want to any player limit you want case okay, so whatever so your fallback server is the server you go back to like your hub server or lobby, you can leave that as lobby, but I, I just like to change this to hub. Now, max players, I'm just gonna change this to like, I don't know, 500 host. I'll just talk about that later. Change, leave that. And force default server is if people rejoin. Do they join the default server, which is your hub? Or do they just go where they left off? So. Uh, I'll just change this to true and show you false. It's exercise, you don't need that. MOTD. Oh, you can change this to whatever you want. So if I went like, and, and stands for like the color, and like say if I do two, which is dark green, I'll give a list of all the colors in the description. So and two is dark green, then I write, Astro. Then, yeah, that would just make the screen dark green. Default server is your lobby or hub. I like to make it hub. First, hold it, keep that. And I'll do this right now. Actually, I'll do the host. Okay, so your host 
is your Hamachi if you didn't have it. In, this is about Hamachi, so you should have it installed already. And this does not work with like port forwarded servers, so don't watch a different tutorial if you're doing port forwarded servers. Actually, no, I I know how to do port forwarded servers. It's like a different code. You need to find like the LAN code. I forgot, but I'm just gonna do Hamachi right now. So Hamachi, just copy IPv4. Enter this in over here. And this is pretty important. Change this to two five five six five because that's your default server. I can close this. And this is the spigot server properties file. So it can't be using the same server port or else some it won't work. So change this to five five six six. And Oh yeah, you can do this. A uh, lobby. Oh this is the world, no, your server name, so whatever you put in, that will be your server name. Well, the first server, default server is pretty important because it's your default server, so you must have one of these default servers. And over here, I want to enter in my IP again. Change this number to 25566. And restricted is false, so it's not whitelisted. Online mode is true. Oh yeah, you also want to set online mode on this. You always want to set online mode to false. Whatever you do. No, only in the uh, server properties in Spigot. You can leave that to true if you want. And you want to save that, and close it, and now the online mode in Spigot is like to let crack players join. So usually I like to do that to let my friend Liz Mineshafter join and I'm not going to save this just yet now I'm going to go to my bucket over here and to um what's it called uh changes to false and you want to change this to false save it or you know yeah whatever I'll do that or you know you can just um, make another text document and change that to and yeah make that go to craft bucket and change that to a dot bat file and you will make it work and just remember minus o false I'll put that code too Now let's see, um, go to server properties. Don't want to change this. I have another one. Change this to 25567. And that's basically what I just want to do. I just want to copy this part. Do not copy online mode. And paste. And change this to let's say my bucket was I don't know world to change this to five five six seven and restricted is also false. Save this, close it, and I think I'm done with this. And let's test this out. Oh yeah, one more thing. If if you're using a bucket server, you must have this plugin called IP Whitelist. We okay, I found it. It is not in the bucket plugin section. It is actually in the Spigot plugin section. So you want to download this over here. Keep. And so, yeah, what you want to do is you want to just 
Move this off to the side. I have that in there. Then you want to just do this real quick. You want to oops. You want to start your bucket server. And now what you want to do is IP. You want to just type in IP add then your Hamachi. Oh great, do I have to type this in? Yeah, I do. So let's see. 25.8.67.127 And enter. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, IP WL. IP WL add IP boom and now your IP is whitelisted now we can leave this open and now we can open this bigot server which yeah, you always need the hub server open because if you don't there will be like a Java connect exception so this bigot server is open now we can open the bungee cord server We can open up Minecraft. Scroll down till you find my server. Where is it? Where is it? Found it. Another Bungie server. Oh, yeah, I didn't change it. Thought he changed it. Oh, oh well. Apparently my MOT didn't get saved, but I'll probably just fix it. Do you want to just join? Let's see. This is my spigot server, if you didn't see my, from my spigot tutorial. And so what you want to do now is type in slash server. It says you're currently connected to hub. And you may connect to the following servers at this time. Hub and world. So let's do slash server world. And this is my world server that uses bucket. And bucket successfully added this IP and now it's whitelisted. And uh I think this was mission successful. Boop. And uh, I was gonna say one more thing, but I forgot. Um, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. And...